Hey guys, I'm going to show you something that I think uh, is, is overlooked as far as every mechanic should know another video in our series, and that is the uh, integrity when dealing with banjo washer. So get in here tight and let's take a look at this. We're dealing with this fuel rail. We have our manifold and then you always have a washer and then the banjo bolt and then another washer and then the nut. Okay, to build up this assembly. Well, what I see happen a lot is, number one, you shouldn't be reusing these. You always wanna replace these. These are a one-time use uh, washer, if you will, okay? But the thing is, if you get in a pinch and you're trying to, uh, to maybe continue on with some work or whatnot, what you might find yourself to do is take some emery cloth and take and rub this washer like in a figure eight and just get the sharp edges off it. I wouldn't send that out the door. What I would do is that's just so we could continue on. We wanna keep working today, so we wanna be able to try and figure out what's going on with this motorcycle and the fuel system. But here's the every mechanic part that's overlooked. When people put new washers in, it seems really easy that, okay, I'll just put new washers in and you could still end up with a leak. I want you to think about this for a second. There are actually eight sealing surfaces on any banjo fitting. So here's just a little drawing I have on my whiteboard here of an throttle body assembly that you saw there. Is we have the manifold, the banjo washer, the banjo, another washer, and then the cap. And this is what I was talking about, how there's actually eight surfaces. So, I mean, you can see here we have one flat surface of the manifold, one side of the banjo, the other side of the banjo, washer and then the banjos itself anyway if you look at that there's eight different flat spots that need a really smooth spot to uh be able to have the integrity to actually create a solid seal and not have any leaks so you know if this surface is not smooth or has crap on it you know grease dirt whatever you know whatever's underneath there and it won't seal i don't care if you put new washers there or not you're going to end up with a leak does that make sense so, you know, Seth here has bought this motorcycle and he's finding quite a few things uh, wrong with it that he's fixing. But if you can uh, look down in here again, you could see where fuel was leaking all over. We see the evidence of it. That's a bad deal. He caught it. He wants to get this fixed. He's going to clean this off. We're going to get really good and dry and bring that back into a good repair. So these guys here are uh, uh, hopefully going to be firing this thing up pretty soon, I hope, right? If you like what you see here, would you please share it? I'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh, technical education and uh, um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching, and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber and follower of the channel.